Okay, let's try out this problem called make array elements unique. Given an array of n elements, your task is to find the minimum number of incremental operations required to make all the elements of the array unique. There is no value in the array should occur more than once. In an operation, a value can be incremented by one only. So this is the example input one, two, two. If we increase array of two by one, then the resulting array becomes one, two, three and has all unique values. And hence the answer is one in this case. Example number two, one, one, two, three. So this guy has a problem. So we can't, so we have to change it, but uh, what do we change it to? If we increase array zero by three, then all the array elements will be unique, hence the answer is three. And that's fair. You don't need to read input or print anything, complete the function main increments, which takes the array as its size and the input event is something something. Expected time complexity O of n log n on auxiliary space is O of 1. So how can we do this? Uh, so we can't take any extra space, that's clear. And it says of n log n, could we sort it then? Maybe we sort it. Okay, so let's say we sort it. After sorting, uh, what can we do? Let's think about this as an example. Let's look at the whiteboard. Let's say this was the input. One and then, okay, hold on. Let's say the input was one, two, three, 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 right? And maybe another two like this. Now what we really want to do in this case is change, well, if, to, if you want to make all elements unique, that means I would just do increment, I would just increment it. So I would just increment to, to uh, if, say if it is equal, right, they are equal, then I'll increment it to three, as simple as that. Yeah, so I'll just, I'll just sort the array so in this case, I'll go one, two is different. Now I go two, so I change it to three. So I incremented it once. Now I get to three, three is same as the previous guy. So I incremented four and then three is again, same as the previous guy. So I increment this three to five. Okay, now it's a thing. So this is three, this is four. So it has to be more than four. So it has to be five, it has to be six, it has to be seven, it has to be eight. And whatever is the diff is the whatever the diff is is the number of increments. So let's take the original example first from the input that's given, which is, and then I'll explain what I mean again. So one, two, two. So my approach is essentially I sort the array, and after having sorted the array, I go through this. Uh, no problem, no problem. Well, what I mean by no problem is if a of i is greater than a of i minus one, all good. But if a of i is less than or equals to a of i minus one, then we have to increment it. By how many times? by these many times by minus a of i minus one plus one right like if they were same then i have to increment it by one if it's not even same it's even even lesser than plus one and like the difference of them plus one right so that's the general logic so two now this is same so number of increments so will be one and i will also update the array and we'll change it to three right now let's come back to 
Okay, let's look at the uh, another example that's given, which is one comma one comma two comma three, right? So here it's sorted already. So one remains one. It matches. So we change it to two. So number of increments is one. Now now two matches with the previous guy. So we change it to three. Number of increments increases. Then three matches with the previous guy. So number of increments has to change, uh, right? So number of increments changes another, and this changes to four. Like doing this is same as changing this one to four, right? Now let's look at that example that we were thinking about this. So this was another example, which was uh, one, two, two, and let's say let's just do just as much, okay? So one is fine, two is fine. Now two changes to three. Now this three will change to four, and this three will change to five. So how many number of increments are there? Well, one and one and two, right? That's the basis. That's the number of increments that we do. So let's build the logic in code. So we go to code, and what we're saying is we are sorting the array. And after that, we are going through i equals to one i is less than rate of length plus plus if array of i is greater than array of i minus one, then all good. And if that's not the case, then what's the diff? Well, then, then the only case could be then it is equal, right? Like what else could be there? Because it cannot be less, so it is equal. And so if it is equal, uh, no, no, thing is, mm, and that's the thing, it can be less because you are incrementing that. Uh, so going back to like the array was sorted, just going back to the example. So yes, the initial array was sorted. That is correct. The initial array was sorted is correct. But if you think, if you look at it, you're changing stuff. So this becomes three and then this becomes four. So yes, this three, it is sorted only till the uh, array that you have seen, right? And because it can change. So we have to, we have to consider that. So now that's why we get the diff. So either it will be equal or it could even be lesser. So diff is equals to uh, ray of i minus one minus ray of i. And so int increments to zero. And now increments plus equals to plus one and also change the value of array at i plus equals to diff plus one right and that is it now at the end of this we return increments okay let's compile and run This works, but let's sum it and see if all test cases pass or not. And they do. All right, so that's it.